Do you love a good mystery? The kind where you have to unravel a few clues and put the entire movie into pieces? If so, then you're definitely in for a treat because I have a few mystery thriller recommendations from around the world and I'm very excited to recommend it to you guys as well. Welcome to my channel The Donkey Business and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The first movie that I want to talk to you about is called A Simple Favor which released in 2018 and is from the US. It's when a suburban mom's best friend asks for a simple favor and she has no idea that she's going to embark in a journey of twisted lies, murder, thrill and mystery. The critics have praised its performances, direction and writing and has a 77% on Rotten Tomatoes. The Simple Favor is a suspenseful and stylish mystery film with a twisty plot. It's perfect for fans who love psychological thrillers. The movie is available on Amazon Prime and I recommend it to you guys. The next one that I want to talk about is a series called The Crowded Room which released in 2023. It's about a young man with split personality and faces the most challenging interrogation of his life when he's accused of a shocking crime. As he recounts his mysterious past, he must confront the dark secrets that lie within his own mind. The series explores the complex and often misunderstood world of dissociative identity disorder, formerly known as multiple personality disorder. It follows Danny Sullivan, which is played by Tom Holland, a young man who struggles to keep his many personalities under control. When Danny is arrested for a crime he doesn't remember committing, he must undergo a series of interviews with a curious interrogator, Raya Goodwin. As Danny recounts his past, he begins to uncover a life-altering revelation. He has DID and his other personalities may have committed the crime. Crowded Room is a very gripping and suspenseful series which will keep you guessing till the very end. There's also a powerful and moving exploration of the human mind and the resilience of the human spirit. Critics have praised the series' performances, especially Tom Holland's leading performance is amazing. I am not a Spider-Man fan but I definitely became a Tom Holland fan after this series. He is so bloody good in it as well as its sensitive handling of a complex subject matter. It has 33% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes and this is definitely false rating. It deserves above 90. The Crowded Room is a fascinating and thought-provoking series that explores the nature of identity and the power of the human mind. It's a must-watch for fans of psychological thrillers or true and true crime stories. It is available for you to stream on Apple TV. The next movie that I want to recommend to you guys is called The Lincoln Lawyer, which released in 2022 and is from the United States. About Mickey Haller, a sharp and cunning defense attorney, navigates the shadowy streets of Los Angeles in his Lincoln town car, juggling high stakes cases and personal demons. When Haller is hired to defend a wealthy playboy accused of attempted murder, he soon finds himself entangled in a web of secrets and lies that threatens to consume him him. Haller delves deeper into the case, uncovers the dark side of Hollywood, power, corruption and violence collide. Poon realizes that his client may not be as innocent as he seems and that the people he's trusting may not be who they appear to be. A career and reputation in line, Hallo must race against time in order to save his career and his client. As he gets closer to the truth, he must also confront his own demons and the dark secrets of his past. Lincoln Lawyer is a gritty and suspenseful legal thriller that will keep you guessing until the very end. It's a must watch for fans of noir films, complex characters and twisty plots. Six praise the show's performances, writing and direction and the movie has 79% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes which I feel is a very fair enough rating. The series is available for you to watch on Netflix. The next series that I want to talk to you about is called After Party Season 2. I have reviewed After Party Season 1 before. This is Season 2 which released just in 2023. It's the story of a lavish wedding where a groom is found dead and everyone is a suspect. But this isn't just any murder mystery. Each episode is told from the perspective of a different guest and each guest story is told in a different genre. Musical to thriller to comedy and I think that the writing and the way they've shown it is just brilliant. As Detective Dano investigates, she must prize together the different stories to uncover the truth. But with each new perspective, the mystery becomes more complex and the suspects more numerous. After Party is wild and unpredictable. Plenty of twists and turns to keep you guessing till the very end. It's a must watch for fans who love murder, mystery, quirky, witty and good storytelling movies and shows. The second season of the After Party has met with positive reviews from critics who have praised the performances, writing and direction. 
It has a 90% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes and I think that it is a fairly fair enough rating. So it's available for you to watch on Apple TV. The next show that I want to talk about is called Diary of a Gigolo, which is from Argentina. Diary of a Gigolo is a dark and sexy thriller about a gigolo who falls in love with the client's daughter. Emmanuel is drawn into a web of deception and passion and he must make a choice between his loyalty to Anna and his love for Julia. He is well written and suspenseful, complex characters and unexpected twists, a cautionary tale about the dangers of living a double life, importance of finding true happiness. I would recommend the series to people who love dark romance, thrillers, murder mystery and love to stay at the edge of your seat. The series has received mixed reviews from critics with some praising its performances and eroticism while others criticizing its plot and pacing. It has 50% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. I fairly believe that it could be a bit higher, probably around 60, no, 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 probably around 75 because I enjoyed watching it. Available to watch on Netflix, it has about 10 episodes and one hour each and I hope that you will like them as much as I did. These are the five recommendations that I wanted to give you in the genre of mystery. I hope that you will watch them. I will see you very soon with another video and thank you so much for watching.